Hey, what's going on, guys? Jay Will here again at Veterinary Review. I'm gonna give you guys another figure review on the DC McFarlane's Jesus, I mean, Jason Momoa, I mean, Aquaman figure from the Justice League movie. I believe this was a 2007 Snyderverse version. Yeah, well, the Stack Snyder cut, anyway. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and take him off the stand here. Back him up a little bit, guys. If you can, go ahead and hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Or comment after, of course, after you see the video. And share your thoughts. Um, if you can, not too big a deal for you guys. It will help me out a lot if you guys go ahead and subscribe. And also, we'll get you guys, we'll get you guys keep looped in on any possible videos I got coming out. Or, of course, videos that come down the pipeline and everything. And I do have a raffle program getting ready to implement here in the summertime probably maybe sometime maybe fall I'm, I'm not entirely sure when but I am stockpiling a lot of pretty cool figures for you guys so you guys might want to be uh, in the know or aware of that in any updates I'm getting ready to give out for you guys um, so it's pretty cool I think you guys a lot of guys might benefit from it so go ahead and subscribe what can it hurt anyway let's go ahead and take a quick look at the packaging here you have the pretty standard McFarlane window packaging here, nice big window right there. Multiverse, Aquaman, this is the 2021, so it was the uh, Snyder Cut that was released on Netflix in 2021. So it was that version. Aquaman right there on the side, got some nice artwork back there at the back. Got some more artwork of the characters, Justice League members from the movie. It would have made more sense to kind of just include um, artwork of figures instead of the characters from the movie, but whatever. Anyway, Aquaman, this league, yeah. Other than that, not much is going on with the packaging. I am deciding to go ahead and start taking out the uh, trading cards or the uh, character cards in the back of the packaging. So he does come with this card right here. Just for you guys. I'm, I'm damaging boxes just for you guys so you guys can see the read ups for these characters, these figures. There's a little bit of a reader right there you want to read it. Go ahead and pause it now. Data file. Nice. I'm gonna start stacking those up somewhere so I don't lose them. Let's bring our guy Arthur Curry here a little bit closer for you guys. Let the camera focus. And for a quick comparison, let's go ahead and bring him out. One of the only one of the main uh, movie figure characters that I have out right now. We have the Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam. And Jason Momoa is a little bit taller as far as the uh, figures go. I don't know what they scale together as in real life I think the rock might be I think they might be close to the same height 6'4", six, 6'5", six, somewhere in there but anyway yeah that's what they look like together bring it back out let's bring in some cartoon slash movie characters or cart comic book characters let's bring in the Dark Knight Return Superman so you can see how beefy these, this guy is they also have Endless Winter Green Lantern right there so you see how those guys look. Oh, Dwayne fell. Anyway, let's go ahead and bring in some Marvel Legends figures. These guys, so you guys see how those scale together. Unfortunately, of course, McFarlane is built in the seven-inch scale, so the McFarlane figures are not going to be able to scale very well with the McFarlane figures. Well, McFarlane, McFarlane uh, Marvel Legends figures not going to scale very well together, so bummer on that front. But if you listen to McFarlane himself, he said you can just use Force Perspective and yeah, kind of make it work like that or something, which doesn't really work either, in my opinion. But who am I to judge? Anyway, uh, this guy does come with just one accessory, and that's his mother's trident. Have you seen the Aquaman movie? So it looks pretty cool, nice detailing there. A uh, pretty smooth handle. It's a kind of a soft, kind of bendy plastic, so it's not very brittle or anything like that. You don't have to worry about really snapping it or anything like that. But yeah, pretty cool. I like the way it looks. Definitely looking forward to like getting like a the aqua actual Aquaman uh, ending uh, Aquaman uniform or design with the uh, actual gold three point trident they had in that movie. But alas take a close look at the figure here he does have some pretty nice scope work nice detail all the way through nice kind of a I guess dirty gold kind of green wash going all the way through 
like maybe like I don't know maybe the design or effect is supposed to be like maybe like an algae kind of thing coming over, over like a old rustic metal, metal slash gold kind of look I don't know it kind of worked for a first kind of like rough draft of Aquaman's color scheme and design kind of you can kind of see maybe like a little bit of gold and green in there which is basically means that his, uh, his color scheme is supposed to be that right there on the back on, the, on my poster right there kind of like orange is gold and green kind of a weird matchup but hey it's you know distinctive anyway a nice sculpt work going all the way through as I kind of mentioned or joked at, at the beginning of the video he does look kind of like a little bit like Jesus right there if, if my camera will go ahead and focus on just yeah but clearly he's not Jesus for those of you guys who weren't aware anyway Overall, it does look pretty good. I think I got this figure for about maybe uh, 15 bucks or so on sale somewhere. So nice, nice value. I'm starting, I'm still trying to flesh out my Snyderverse GI Joe. Uh, I mean, not GI Joe, Justice League uh, collection. So yeah, so stay tuned for that. I'll probably put them on a display somewhere for you guys to see later on down the line. As far as articulation goes, his head can look up eh, ever so slightly, not very far, but it can look down pretty far. Do his luscious lock kind of blocking his neck right there. Side to side motion, of course. A little bit of hit tilt here and there. So you can get a little bit of range right there. Neck is fat is uh, fixed inside the uh, chest piece right there. Not like a G.I. Joe figure. Shorts can move out to the sides very far. Down pretty far, all the way around. Ugh, bicep swivel. He does have a butterfly joint. These are loose, very soft shoulder pieces, pieces of plastic, so they won't get in the way at all. But yeah, butterfly joints that move around pretty good. So you get a nice little wobble all the way through. Double jointed elbows that bend in pretty far. Get the wrist swivel and the McFarlane joint that is on its own kind of individual ball. And you can uh, get a dice rolling motion, and if you can position it, ball just the right way and twist the hand around you can't get back and forth motion so nice then you get a diaphragm joint up here up top nice rotation back and forth motion you get the crunch eh, a little bit back forward side to side you get a eh, kind of a ab up down the motion right there too gotta loosen up a little bit so not too bad let's get to the sides very far it's a nice soft diaper piece of plastic right there Let's get out to the front that far, kick back that far, upper thigh cut that kind of stops going this direction, double joint knees. No, well, oh, does he does have a boot cut right there? Well, the boot piece of plastic anyway just slides around. Maybe not necessarily a boot cut. Up and down motion of the feet with the McFarlane ball joint, where you can pretty much position his foot multiple different ways if you just rotate the foot on the ball. So, and then of course, toe articulation. So you get a good nice range of motion with this figure. He looks good. I feel like the hair is just maybe just a little bit off track. It's kind of like rotated kind of like this way on his head. Kind of like just missing the mark just a little bit. But other than that, not too bad of a design and look for him. Definitely, I feel like it definitely captures the look of Jason Momoa as Aquaman. And for the price point, wasn't too bad. I recommend you guys build your Snyderverse uh, just leave figures out as quick as you can before they're all gone. And as always, guys, I appreciate you guys all for stopping by. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share your thoughts, so that way you guys be looped in on the videos down the pipeline, coming down the pipeline, and you guys can be aware of any raffle offers and programs or deals I have going on, so you guys can know what figures you want and what figures you may have a chance of winning. Just got to pay attention here and there. And as always, guys, appreciate you guys for stopping by. You guys can be safe out there. And later.